are ready for it. Both sides of the cover. Okay, because I'm going to get skulled. About this airplane and its pilot. No. We're here at the airfield, but we're going to construct the airplane, make sure it's ready to go. We'll do some engine testing to make sure the engine's running good because we haven't actually started the engine since the crash. There's the Mohawk that Scott has made. The broken arrow. It's wearing a hat. Yep. The airplane's got a hat on today. Now we got to rubber band the wings on. But a little slightly different than your standard tower trainer because this is a tower broken arrow. It rubber bands. I don't think we need to call it tower anymore. No, it's not really tower, it's mine. It's a fine working machine, I tell you. Inaugural Prime. That's a weird sound. I don't think that's right. Nope. And if the engine breaks, I'm due for a 47 instead of a 40 anyway. So, you know, we're just gonna see what it does, and if it blows up, stand back. Starting a crashed engine. Broken. You didn't put the propeller on tight enough, Scott. <laughs> I'd right. say we're good to go. Well, the blue's gonna create yeah, lots of problems. Yeah, the blue's all gonna come off in flight, but who cares about blue? Yes. Someone's in love. No stick. This is now my favorite airplane in the world. Hi. 
place. Almost too much for words. Yes, now it's got. Sit rep after three flights. Plane is still in one piece. A little bit of the monocoat's coming off, but that was expected. Uh, noticed a few little things we gotta fix. One is the wing spar is a little wobbly, so we need to thicken it up. And then maybe a little other mounting thing, some epoxy on the spar to make sure it's in the fuselage more solid. And I'd say we got a fully functional airplane right here.